The Air Traffic Control Tower at Edwards Air Force Base has one of the most unique and diverse missions of any tower in the U.S. Air Force. Edwards is where the Air Force tests its aircraft, both old and new, and trains its next generation of test pilots. And that can add up to 300-plus air traffic control operations a day over 23 operational runways. We like to call it controlled chaos. <laughs> um, we have our normal flying operations and we have to deconflict and mix the test um, flights in along with that. Sometimes that's very challenging, um, but we have great air traffic controllers and do a good job uh, making sure that everything, everybody gets what they want. That's Senior Master Sergeant Patricia Fisher, who is the chief controller at the tower and the leader of this multiple award-winning team, which was recently recognized by Air Force Materiel Command for being the best at what they do. They are the winner of the 2010 D. Ray Harden Air Traffic Control Facility of the Year Award. It's for facilities that support um, uh, safety of flight, uh, with, uh, unusual operations, um, exercises, and it kind of go above and beyond the normal day-to-day -day operations. Unlike other Air Force bases, the skies over Edwards are filled with many different types of airframes, often at the same time. Knowing the various capabilities of those airframes and keeping the aircraft safe can be demanding. The big deal here is all the different types of aircraft that we have, and I think um, I last counted as many as 43 different types of aircraft flying around in our airspace at any given time. Um, anything from a Boeing 747-8 freighter to um, a Russian AN-2 biplane. Uh, we've got gliders flying off of the north base. We've got unmanned aircraft flying around uh, uh, mixed in with the normal stuff, um, which is it, it's really challenging uh, trying to organize the, the traffic and to do it safely. The air traffic controllers who operate the Edwards Tower are a mix of active duty military and civil service civilians. We've got seven civilians here, and of the seven, four of us retired Air Force. Uh, one's a former FAA controller, one's a former, former Navy controller, um, and two other former Air Force controllers. Uh, but I think probably uh, if we add all our years up of experience, we'd have well over 100 years of experience in air traffic control facilities. That experience not only provides top-notch mission support and continuity, but it is also a valuable asset in the development of airmen into rated air traffic controllers. For the new person, new airmen fresh out of tech school, they come here without any ratings. It's going to be about a one year long process for them to get fully upgraded um, into their uh, three positions that it takes for them to achieve their five level here. Um, there's the flight data position, ground control position, and local control position in the tower. A portion of the training makes use of the tower simulator, which is a state-of-the-art digital replica of the Edwards Tower and airfield. In here, the airmen both learn and practice the skills it takes to be air traffic controllers. We can have up to um, two people working airplanes, the ground and uh, the local control position. Then each position can have a, a trainer plugged in with them as well. And then in the back, there's the supervisor console, and that's basically the person is running the scenario. Airman First Class Burke Parsetich recently completed 13 months of training at the Edwards Tower and earned her air traffic controller's rating. It was just, just a sigh of relief, just a weight off my shoulders that finally I get to do the job that I've been in training for for 13 months and that I absolutely love. For Johnny Davis, who first came to work at the Edwards Tower while still active duty Air Force in 1994, it is the mix of people that makes their mission so successful. The camaraderie, I know that's kind of a cliche, but we really, really have a good bunch of people here that get along and it makes this uh, place really special to work at and it's a, it's a pleasure coming to work. I mean, I, can, I can't say that about every place that I've ever worked, but here for sure. Don Waldman, Edwards Air Force Base, California. This has been Dateline Edwards. If you have questions or comments, we'd like to hear from you. Please send us an email at channel.6 at edwards.af.mil.